Oh, I guess we can go now, huh? Wait a minute. Thought you were gonna rest. Okay. Immediately. Oh, Yuffie. I am so, so bored, bored right out of my brain. If I don't die first, that y'all go insane. This lyrics to that song? Nothing else to do. I'm stuck here wasting time. But just wait, oh materia. I'll get back on the road. And make you mine. That was great. Hey, how you feeling? I am so, so bored. Bored right out of my brain. I love, yes. I'd love an encore, if that's cool. An encore? Normally I charge an orb per song, but I'll make a special exception this time. Here goes. We already said to this. I am so, so bored, bored right oh. out of my brain. More enthusiasm. If I don't die first, betcha I'll go insane. Cause I've got nothing else to do. I'm stuck here wasting time. But just wait, oh materia. I'll get back on the road and make you mine. Nice. That's all I gotta say about that. Alright. That's the objective. We ain't going there just yet. Um, there was someone around. Oh, there's Barrett. Hey. Once things settle down, I could see myself moving out here, living off the land. Be a nice change of pace. <laughs> just me, Marlene, and our little piece of paradise. <laughs> Wonder what kind of stuff we'd end up growing. Mm -hmm. Mushrooms. Mushrooms. What? Cause it's our lucky food? Don't tell me you believe that mumbo jumbo. Still, you might be onto something. Gungaga mushroom farming sounds like a license to print gear. <laughs> Still have to find Kate Seth somewhere. Shinra's doing its damnedest to bleed the planet dry, but she still got life in her, and we gotta help her keep what's left. Hmm. Right about that. It's just Sissone. Those Gungaga mushrooms you found? They're all yours if you want them. We got more than our fair share. No, I feel like... Oh, there you go. That Cisne lassie was right, you know. If Shinra had wanted to, they could have done something about the reactor. But instead, they looked the other way. Willful negligence killed those people. And everyone thinks Avalanche are the bad guys. Sad. There we go. Alright. This is a nice place. Too bad we're going to break and do some open world stuff. I got to find those proto relics. Um, let me just go ahead. I'll show y'all the stuff. Um, media gallery. All right, so I had sent um, a friend of mine these because we've been talking about card game stuff. Um. Oh, we actually took a picture. Everyone was in it. We was on vacation again. But so oh, this is with the new deck. Uh oh yeah, it was the more twins. So I didn't know you had to play them twice. Cause you played the first one, he was like, now you gotta go against me. And I was like, oh I thought I was done. 
This one I had to restart, but I wound up, you know, making sure I can get in. It's just me getting used to the new cars and stuff. I didn't know what the heck I was doing with them. Come on, put it down. There you go. I think I had already blocked them. Yeah, at this point I already blocked them. I just wanted to get as many points in like I like I usually do. I'll speed it up. And did I do that? Okay, I thought I did. And if Let's see, did I use that Shiva card? I was like, no. I just wanted to get as many points as I could. What did I do? Oh, dang, I skipped it. There's one card I really like. Actually, I think it's the one I just put down. Yeah, it is that one. So yeah, I wound up totally taking this one over and I should pass it here. So if you put that card down, I think it's the jockey one. If you win that lane, it gives you an extra 10 points. So I sent this to her and I was like, oh, I get it. That's why you be getting such high scores. So let's see. I think this is a different one. I think this is the other twin, yeah. Oh, right. So, see at the top, I have 20. And then he went and um, put up 21. I was like, dang it. He's going... No, no, actually, he tied it. He tied it 2020. I was like, nah, I can't do that. They... So I, I didn't know in one of the packs I put, I got a um a destroy card. So I was like, I need to destroy something. It, it only can be that top one, and I couldn't figure out what. The Shiva card is really good. I thought it would only fill up one random um slot. It does all of them. And I'm gonna show y'all one what I did on the game that I just finished before this. So I was trying to find a card that said destroy something and then you get like more points, whatever. But my dumb tail, I'm like, oh wait, I can just do the, the iceberg. Boom, there we go. And I was thinking like, is this it? I, I should win, right? Put it down. He has no more moves. I absolutely have, I still have a move, but I just went and ended it. And I wound up winning by just one lane because of that jockey card. I said, oh boy. <laughs> it should not have been that tough, but uh, I, again, still getting used to the new deck. So it's, it was whatever. Let me see, is this? I think this is the long, oh, this is the crazy one, yeah. It would just ride this one out. I'm, I don't even know. Oh, I know what I did. I think this was a petty win. He So he blocked himself and then I blocked him. And I was like, let me just. But I didn't feel like playing no more. I wanted to get some, get some action. So I think I passed it. I should have just passed it right here. Come on, pass me. That's it. Just pass. You won. I can't do nothing else. There we go. I was like, yep, he only won that one, so I took I took the petty win. I was like, alright, cool. That's dope. This is wrong. This is all wrong. I don't understand. It was just supposed to be a game. No. There it is again. That voice. 
could it be? Has returned? No, that's impossible. It's just a silly card game. I have to tell them. They all need to know the terrible truth about Queen's blood. I was like, what the You're heck okay? just happened? Were you granted a transcendent vision, as I too was? You look as though you've just seen a ghost. Saying that, I'm reminded of the story of Lidrell Balmon, the creator of Queen's Blood. After he started selling cards, he spoke of hearing a strange voice. He then withdrew from the public eye and became a recluse. No one saw him again until his death. There's no shortage of people who've had their lives turned upside down by the cards. Just goes to show what a deep and captivating game it is. Indeed. This match of ours stands as proof of that truth as well, I believe. Thank you for this experience, my friend. Oh, I'm gonna tell y'all, I was like, this card game, like, why is this in the game? It's cool, but I gotta do this to progress our narratives and, and stuff. When we got to the cruise ship, I'm like, oh. because of that cutscene, now it's narrative driven i'm like oh all right you got my attention let's let's get this good deck and let's let's beat these folks i'm gum game i have a feeling who they might be talking about it was someone that we haven't seen in a, for a while and i was thinking how could they use him we'll have to see let's continue double act ellie the elusive Bury the brash. <laughs> I wonder what your friends would have paid for you. Guess we'll never know. So this was just a little boss fight I wanted to show. Oh, did I scan him? Okay. I'm sure I did after this. Yeah, okay. This hot mission was um was played. Um, it was just last night. Um the doctor asked to find um it was a ransom that got sent to him. One of the hooded men got kidnapped. And they tried to trick me when I got there. Red 13 wound up using his nose on to track him. And he'll be on down. These death claws, though, I have not seen them since actually Crisis Core, and they were strong in there too. But they used their like like death claw on you. A lot of your HP goes down. And this was kind of me figuring out how to um, control K Sith. But I figure out you can hold down triangle and he'll do and, and then meter will um, go up. So I'm gonna keep him in the um party that I got right now. I had him with um I had him with um Barrett at first, but he has a real cool synergy ability with um Era. Actually no, he has one with Barrett too. Ah, dang it. Hopefully there's a um a mission what I have. Oh yeah, I like this attack. Wow. That's a big punch. Huh. That's some nice Actually, yeah, he has a good signature ability with Barry, but he has a cool one with Aerith next. later on. Ah oh, shit. Now what? Now? Now nothing. Dog or no dog, they're never gonna be able to find that dude without us. Hear that? Give us the money, or we're gonna What? <sighs> I feel like this cutscene was important, hey, that's why I added it. We told you to stay put! I knew we should have tied him up. Oh, Reed, Union. 
What? Old buddy of yours? Barry, look. The kid's eyes. He's a soldier. No wonder he wiped the floor with that monster. But time ain't on his side. Even the strongest ones don't stay strong for long. Sooner or later, he'll wind up like all the rest. Another mumbling hooded freak. <sighs> stay a while! Sure you got lots to catch up on! Suck it, losers! Let him go. We got our man. <sighs> Ray was like Let's really aggressive on that Sharon. part. And we learned a lot about him too. He's really weak to um good smelling food. His appetite. Glad to see our man still alive. And see for a few scrapes, none the worse for the wear. <sighs> Is it true that soldiers' cells degrade? Uh, believe me, if I knew, I'd tell you. But Shinra keeps a tight lid on everything soldier-related. Only doctors with access to those secrets are the company's own. I certainly don't qualify. If anyone here was gonna have answers, it'd be you, son. Been feeling under the weather? Not really. Yes. The procedure you boys <laughs> underwent was cutting edge. So much so, I doubt anyone in the company knew what the long-term effects might be. The more information we have, the better. <laughs> so, uh, change your mind about that blood sample? No. <laughs> mm -hmm. One of these days, I'll win you over. Yeah. I picked up the crawler thinking it's me right now on this, but this is a video. Well... I reckon I'd better get back to work. Blood won't draw itself, and given the sheer number of those robes, collecting samples will take time. Still waiting on a soldier sample, if you catch my drift. That gotta be, man, it, they're probably not gonna do it, but it would be nice to have them, give them um, a sample or something. All right, um, and this is the one I just did. Let me go back, cause it, it, went, it goes kind of fast. Putting down the Shiva card when you have so much um, filled up. Um, yeah, let's see. Did it show it at the end? It's covering it at the bottom, but the Shiva card, um, it puts, it uses diamond dust. Oh, there we go. Um, it puts two, four, or six on empty positions. So whichever one I put it on, the rest of them will just get filled with either a random two, four, or six um diamond dust car so peep this out i was like whoa i was like every, i got every slot i blocked the mess out of them too so that was one thing oh this is a dog by the way but yeah look uh let me speed it up look at look at the look at the tally look at the tally oh man I'm looking like you gotta be kidding. I'm like, I almost got 20 on the last one. I'm sitting there like, no way. Like 51. <laughs> uh, like, and he had that card. I'm like, uh, yeah, we, we smashed him. We smashed him. Oh, yeah that was it uh but that was the card game i did and then this other thing happened that i had to turn the game off and say all right let me just get on log so here we are now and you're going to see it next oh here we go so it's about to pop off now This must yeah. be the sandstorm. I didn't know this was gonna happen. <laughs> I was like, oh no, let's see. I'm saying there like, does this have to do with the proto relic? Run like 
was I to the warrior's presence. And lo, whither should it lead me but these sweltering sands? What is this thing? No way. What misfortune for you to venture so far for treasure already claimed? You would do well to leave, that I may collect what is by rights mine! You think the proto-relic is yours? Proto what now? <laughs> Relic, you say? Ah! A ridiculous name, unworthy of my treasure! What you names covet is none other than a prize in my resplendent arsenal! The guest Uh-oh. Oh. oh. This form! I can hold no longer! <laughs> oh, 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 down I go. Go to sleep. So what was that? <sighs> that was crazy. Oh, thank goodness I finally got through. Are you all right? I'm fine. But what the hell was that just now? I'm investigating the matter as we speak. In my initial analysis of the sand entity, I detected a proto-relic-like signal. I'm unsure how they're connected, but I fear we might be after the same thing. Of course we are. There's no telling where it might appear next. Please, be careful. Yeah, and it's like, it's right in front of me. So I didn't know I was crossing it. I thought I was going straight to this, but we wound up crossing this path and it was that sandstorm from earlier. But yep. Yeah. And now we can go ahead and <laughs> get this. Oh man. So we'll get there. I'm just gonna circle around. I hate to let you So it's my turn. Hold on. Oh, soldier Moku. What? That's awesome. We didn't finish the thing, but that was kind of dope. He grabs his sword and uses it. We're going to redo that and try it. What's gonna happen now? Less with cactuar stuff. Oh, I didn't even mean to go down just yet. Oh, we should just leave him alone. Let him take this reactor. They sound like they at home. To them, the proto-relic is the treasure of the sands, it seems, which they have kept safe for generations. Moreover, they are duty-bound to ensure its safety until its rightful owner comes to claim it. Wonder who that is. Hmm. For all we know, it could simply be a myth. You're saying these guys have their own fairy tales? Sounds pretty silly to me. Hang on a sec. Who are you calling a fairy? What the heck is that? Oh, no need for all that. <laughs> My name's G. Kid G. Descended from a long line of goblins. I look after these cactuars. It's a duty passed down to me from my forebears. Wait, you can talk? Oh. Speech ain't that hard, lady. Where there's a will, there's a way. Given your present company, I'm shocked you haven't shaken that preconception. <laughs> Right. Does have a point. Mm -hmm. Quoth Cactuar Scripture, the Book of Kings. Unto those who seek the treasure of these sands, a trial shall be given. <laughs> if you think you've got what it takes to be the treasure's rightful owner, you're gonna have to prove it first. Where'd they all come from? I guess we're fighting again. You can hear them. 
And now your trial. Take down the cactuars within the time allotted. If you can. Oh, it looks like we have ourselves a volunteer. Who? Oh, me? I'm about to say, she would be the best one. Yeah, she's a, she's like a lot faster than everyone else. Okay, yeah, we're, we're going to use Yuffie then. Oh, and there's a little... Ah, we're going to be doing this a couple times. I can I can do this. I can do this. Let's go. Again. Is it off of? It must be. That I didn't get. Most esteemed guest. Perchance you have Check points for me. For more details about our upcoming shows. The Golden yeah, here it is. State of the art audio visual technology. I shall no eagerly await our next interaction. Is there anything in here? Oh. Oh, Barry. This is Jesse. No dialogue. Are you serious? Dang. There gotta be something in here. Nothing? How is there no dialogue with Barrett as he's looking at her painting, yo? Really? Dang. Why didn't they give us any dialogue for that? 